Hey guys, this is Nanette with Heart Baby Home. Today we're looking at heart number 64, double inlet left ventricle with coarctation. DILV, that's double inlet left ventricle, and that's where both the tricuspid and the mitral valves let blood go into the left ventricle. Instead of on a normal heart, you can see that on one side it goes into the right ventricle and on the other side it goes into the left ventricle. So this means that all of the blood is going to mix together the oxygen poor and the oxygen rich blood before it goes out to the body or the lungs. So it's very inefficient. LTGA, levotransposition of the great arteries or congenitally corrected transposition of the great arteries. Now this is where the pulmonary artery and the aorta are normally situated, but the left and right ventricles have been switched. And so the pulmonary artery comes out of the left ventricle and the aorta comes out of the right ventricle. Coarctation of the aorta, that's where just after the aortic arch, the aorta gets pinched, and so it makes it hard for the oxygen-rich blood to go out to the body. Mitral valve atresia, M, that's where the mitral valve is missing or fused shut. Aortic atresia, AA, so that's when the aortic valve is missing or fused shut, and so blood can't go into the aorta from the heart. The bidirectional glen, or hemifontan procedure, uh, this is where they take the blood that's coming back from the top half of the body and they divert it so that it flows directly into the lungs. So that takes some of the workload off of the heart. Um, and there'll be a cath to test the pressure in the lungs before the glen uh, to make sure that the pressure isn't too high in the lungs, uh, otherwise it won't work. So basically there's three steps. They go in and they take out the section of the pulmonary artery that takes blood out of the heart to the lungs because they won't be using it anymore. And then in step two, that's where they take blood that's coming back from the top half of the body in that superior vena cava and they just put it directly into that branch of the pulmonary artery that's going to the lungs. So one of the ways they fix that coarctation is they'll go in and take out the part that's narrow and then they just put on a patch and that makes the aorta as wide as it's supposed to be. External Fontan. So with the Fontan they're wanting to take the blood that's returning from the lower half of the body and they want to shunt it directly into the lungs instead of going through the heart and that'll make less work for the heart. Also then all the heart, the blood that's in the heart is going to be oxygen rich blood. So they do this with a conduit and they attach it at the bottom to the inferior vena cava and they attach it at the top to the superior vena cava. And in an external fontan that conduit goes outside the heart. And then sometimes it'll have It'll be attached to the right atria if there's a fenestration that needs to relieve pressure, um, which they do a lot just to help the patient adjust to the new pressures in the, in the new con heart configuration. And it looks like that's everything for this heart. So if you appreciated this video, please subscribe to my channel below. That directly helps me. And if you have any questions or you would like me to draw you a new heart image, you can find me at heartbabyhome.com slash contact. And if you just want to chat, I'm also on Facebook, Pinterest, and Twitter. Thank you.